Here I'm asked to evaluate a given function f of x equals 2x minus 5 at an input of 2, negative 1, x plus 1, and negative x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my function as f square equals 2 times square minus 5. And what that's going to help me remember is that it does not matter what my input is. My input is going to be multiplied by 2 and then I'm going to subtract 5. That's all this function says. So if I evaluate f of 2, 2 is in the square. And so the way I'm going to indicate kind of that square is using parentheses minus 5. So that becomes 4 minus 5 or negative 1. If I evaluate f at an input of negative 1, now negative 1 is in my square or in parentheses. It's a very, very good idea to always put parentheses around your input. That's negative 2 minus 5 equals negative 7. If I evaluate using an input of x plus 1, then x plus 1 takes the place of the square. I'm going to use parentheses and then I subtract 5. So that becomes 2x plus 2 minus 5 or 2x minus 3 in our simplified form. And then finally f of negative x Again, I'm going to put negative x in the box in parentheses here, minus 5, and then 2 times negative x is negative 2x, and then I subtract 5. So once again, it does not matter what is in the box, what is in the square. You're going to perform on whatever input what's being done to your input variable in the original function. So if you can get away from an attachment to x, that will help you tremendously with these problems.